Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a lovely day. I... What in the name of sanity is that? Okay, um, ignoring that for the time being because wow. Welcome back to Anadonia. I totally didn't nearly say the wrong series name. <laughs> Please believe me. Uh, but yes, once again, I am not joined by Ruby because would you believe it, the Son of a gun, went and caught COVID. <laughs> went on two holidays and then caught COVID. Uh, so his voice isn't up to snuff to record with us today. Or for the next, like, week or so. But yes, either way, we are back uh, on Anadonia. Uh, we are playing Anadonia. This is the Anadonia series. Pick whichever version of that sentence you want, stick it in there, and then go with it. But as you may notice, I have been looking up at the sky a lot in today's intro, and that's because I'm trying to give you a hint as to what's going to go on today. Does it appear to you as if there might be something missing from the sky? Well, there better be, because if not, you have the observational skills of a grape. Uh, but the shield is missing. And that's not because it's disappeared or corrupted or broken or because I got bored of it and replaced it. Oh, no, 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 no. The shield is missing because it's complete. Yes, unfortunately for you, you did miss me setting the shield up just because it took around a whole day's worth of troubleshooting to get right, especially without going into creative mode. Uh, I know it seems kind of sus to bring that up, but I'm bringing it up more of a source of pride th uh, than anything, uh, because this is 100% the type of job I would usually switch into creative mode for, and I did it all in survival mode, and I could not be more proud of myself. So yeah, with a flick of this switch, and with like a couple buffering seconds from the server, uh, we would have a fully formed shield. However, there's one thing I know while testing this uh, in between episodes, and that is this shield runs at a loss on power, meaning that even though it's being powered by eight tier six solar panels, it's not enough to make itself sufficient. You see, these solar panels at full charge hold 32 million FE inside of them, right? 32 million FE. And these generators hold, again, another, what is that, 120,000? No, that's 1,200,000 FE, or MFE, or whatever you want to call it. But the rate at which it is spent is astronomically higher than what it can generate, especially because it's only generating at 100% efficiency, which is 2,048 FE per tick, when it is 100% light level, when the sun is directly in the sky. As soon as this thing turns nighttime, this starts chugging down, and this starts going down, which means it's replenished even slower. But what that means is that when this system is flicked on, it is running at a loss. Now, there are several ways we could go about fixing that. However, before we start on any of them, uh, there are two things I want to do. The first one is anything but that. I am sick of these force fields and I want to work on something else for today. Can you blame me? And the other thing is I actually want to flick it on and then fully drain the capacitors. Because I want to see just how long this thing can hold out for when it's, when it's active, when it's on. Because... We're not going to keep it on all the time, but when we need it on, it is going to be dire straits. We are going to be in a dire situation. We will be under attack. And I need to know how well that thing can hold up when it's being bombarded from above. But like I mentioned, we're doing that later. In fact, we're doing that at the end of the episode because I have a lot more stuff that I want to get done today. Starting with filling in all of these holes because dear god, this place is turning into a craterous landfill. I guess, what's, what's the opposite of a landfill? A land void. I mean, look what they did to my farm. I don't even know how they did this. They shouldn't be able to spawn here. Uh, let, let's, let's fix this quickly. You know, ironically, I don't know where we keep our dirt, if we have any at all. Never mind, found some.
Right then, from the looks of it, all other craters have been uh, filled in. The only one left is that one over there. And because I'm autistic, we need to do this a specific way. Right, now that we've risen and shined, we need to look through here and we need to find the specific quadrant that that one over there uh, is mapped to. Now, I did remove the mapping tape. Oh god, I forgot I shouldn't zoom out on this thing. Uh, but if I look over this, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this would be eight part one? I think? Yeah, quadrant eight one. All right, now I need to figure out where I put all of my blueprint paper. Well, you know what they say, reduce, reuse, recycle. And throwing that in there, all we have to do now is grab ourselves segment eight one. There we go, click on that, and now we just have to wait for this bar to fill up. Uh, so, I will be right back. Actually, as I wait to fill up, let me just quickly go and dump some of my inventory into a chest, because I still have my Starsick stuff on me, and that is for a different series. Yeah, so let's put the telescope, and the Starlight Infuser, and the Attunement Altar, and the Ritual Pedestals, and the Fossic Resonator, and the Illumination Wand, and the Nocturnal Powder, and the Resonating Wand, and, uh... Actually, you know what, that's everything. Yeah, that's everything we needed to put away. And the arrow's nearly done, there we go. We now have the schematic, so... I'm gonna avoid putting it down until I can absolutely help it. Um, because this thing really, really likes to lag the game out. Okay, and... Blammo. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Okay. Oh my god. God, I forgot how big of a chunk I made this. This is the entire quadrant. Okay, let's move it down so we can see what we're working with. Uh, yes, this is the front, correct? I sincerely hope so. Yeah, it is the front. Okay, so if we move this this way. There we go, then bring it down some more. That's about in line, right? I think... Yeah, one more down, and then if we bring it forwards, and then this way, nearly lined up, nearly there, nearly there, and then I think if we bring it down, and then down again, perhaps? Maybe? Yeah, and then if we bring it one this way, and then one this way, there we go, so it's lined up now. And we're not going to stick this in the cannon. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use it to figure out what blocks are missing over here so that we can fix them. Now, so far, not many of these are looking like holograms. This part is actually just kind of messed up in the original design, which I find quite interesting because I don't remember that in the slightest. Let's see. So the ones that are flickering are still there. The ones that aren't flickering are missing. So I'm guessing... There we go. These are the missing ones. So that means we need quite a bit of dirt, not much stone, and we need... Uh, what are they? Mud brick slabs. Let's go grab them, shall we? Uh, and while we're at it, let's just quickly... Stop giving ourselves a seizure. There we go. Now, while we could just grab some grass using our Silk Touch pickaxe, because I believe we still have that somewhere. Well, we have a Silk, tu silk Touch pickaxe somewhere, or at least I hope we do, because if it broke after all of the effort it took to get it, I'm going to be projectile crying. Which that, that's how sad I'm going to be. Um, but if not, we can just use dirt and have it grow back. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I forgot we left that running. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> wow, we are we are loaded. Okay, a stack of dirt should be enough on its own. Uh, but next up, mud brick slabs. I don't know. Oh, that works. I don't know if we had any spare mud brick just lying around anywhere. I believe I did just sort of get rid of it all uh, when it became not useful. Uh, but... I've probably got some lying around somewhere. Uh, I mean, for God's sake, I've got solar panel... I've got 61 tier 5 solar panels in my backpack. If, if there's going to be anything anywhere, it's going to be in one of these things. I have an entire supply ship chest just right there. And sadly, I don't think it's in this one either. I'm not seeing any mud brick. Which means we are just going to... We. I mean, it's got an EMC value. We're not... We're not shit-canned, but, um... It just means we're going to have to destroy even more of this thing before we can start, you know, fixing it. And I forgot about you. 
Yeah, we need to fix this part as well. I'd say light it up, but I don't wanna. So let me just very quickly grab um, mud brick slab. There we go. Now, since the shield is finished, we can just commandeer the shield template chest. There we go. Grab ourselves the mud bricks, and that should, fingers crossed, be everything we need to repair this thing. So, let's bring back seizure warning the item, and let's start fixing things. So, these are flashing, which means these are still there, but this isn't. Now it is. Nine, ten... Right, all the grass is flashing, which means that's been fixed. These still aren't, though, so I'm guessing these still need uh, to have grass underneath them. Actually, hold on, I can't concentrate with this thing flashing. I'll just use it as a guideline. Right, so, get rid of these. There we go. Fix this, and then put these here. And then that... I believe is the fixed area. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's the fixed area. And yeah, everything is back in place. Everything except the wheat, which uh, we can fix in a second. Now, I am going to keep a hold of the schematic. I'm going to put it in a safe chest just because I don't want to waste schematic paper, even though we could make tons. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to put it away rather than destroy it because... I don't know, just feels weird destroying it. But either way, now we just need to fix this part, which means we need a hoe uh, for the parts here that have either been trampled or had to be replaced, and seeds to, you know, plant. And apparently we also need water, because there's missing water here, which is baffling, but... Okay. I'm gonna be real honest, I don't remember the last thing I said. Immediately after I said it, my entire game crashed and I had to restart, and now I don't remember what I was talking about. All I remember is what I was doing, and what I was doing, it wasn't very fun. I'm looking for a hoe, which, you know, usually they're in abundance around here, but specifically today I need an actual farming one. Uh, it doesn't matter what it's made out of, it just needs to be able to till dirt, you know? It's kind of the point of a hoe. Uh, and I also need seeds, which, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, are actually pretty rare in Anadonia. You, it's hard to find regular seeds, because there's that many modded ones, so... I don't know if we've actually got any in supply. I could just break some of the many wheat we have out there, but I don't want to. Uh, so let's open the computer when... In its time, in its own time, because we're totally not in a rush or anything, and let's look for seed... Uh, yeah, we have quite a lot of wheat seeds. I, you know what, that 32 should be enough. And I also need a hoe, which we don't have in the computer. Now that's interesting. But this, but that, none of which I need though. And, huh. I wondered where that went. I ended up building a new one just because I, I, I couldn't find the old one. Huh. You know, the amount of times I must have opened that chest, seen it, and then just ignored it is astronomical. Oh, and while I'm here, I need a bucket. Uh, not one of liquid starlight, but we can empty it out, so no harm, no foul there. Right, well, since all we need is a hoe, and it doesn't have to be made out of anything specific, uh, I'm just going to go to the nearest crafting table, which is actually permanently on me, and I keep forgetting that. And I'm just going to craft one out of wood, because... Why wouldn't I? That could have been better. Because why would I build it out of anything else? <laughs> sanity. I'm losing my sanity. Please help me, it's gone away. I'm losing my sanity. Yes, it's going out the door. The door being my head. Or at least the inside of... The inside of my head. On Spotify now. Alright then, so with a quick flick of the fertilization wand, we can just, um till this dirt. And while we're here, let's empty out the liquid starlight. I don't really have anywhere specific I need to put it right now. What happens when you mix it with water again? I know it does something. Ah, oh, ice, that's it. You can use it to farm ice. I remember now. Um, and then we just have to drop this in here. That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay. 
Uh, let's create. Oh, we don't really need that. I am that rich, I can just throw wheat away. Right then, so planting in the seeds. This should be the last step to fixing all of the holes that the creepers have left in my base. Uh, I may have greatly underestimated how many seeds I'd need. Whoopsie. Why is this going dry? There's supposed to be water everywhere. Did I miss, like, a, a spot of water under here? A hidden bit of water that I've somehow forgotten about? Because it feels like that's something I do, to be completely honest. Was one of these meant to be water? I don't think so. <sighs> Fuck it, it is now. It's this and the lantern thing that pisses me off, because it was built perfectly fine in the original template world, but the moment I brought it over, certain things just didn't work, and certain things just didn't work. I realized I stated the same thing twice. That's because my brain thought I was going to say something else, and then I didn't because I'm very smart like that. I miss recording with Ruby. I, I don't like who I become when I record on my own. I feel like I just become this cynical asshole when I'm on my own. And that makes me wonder, is that just who I am deep down? I'm going to fucking kill it. But as I was saying, is that just who I am deep down underneath it all? When I'm alone, when there's no one else here but me, is that who I am? Am I just this cynical, depressed, lonely individual that gets mad at pixels on a screen for not functioning the way that pixels on a screen are supposed to function? Are you kidding me? Four spaces left, are you kidding me? You can't give me this. There we go. Nice and solved. I have to wait for the entire thing to go grow back, and I could watering can it, but I don't want to. 